This is our $500 Civic, and this is a $5,000 set of ITBs. Now, we've already plowed about $30,000 worth of parts into this car, from wheels and tires to brakes, suspension, a whole new engine, and a completely refreshed interior. But it's still falling a little short of our goal, which is beating a brand new Civic Type R at the track. Yeah, so today we're gonna install these ITBs and a set of cams to see if that's all that's standing between us and beating our goal. As always, before we install the new stuff, we gotta take off the old stuff. So that means getting the uh, intake manifold and everything surrounding it off and getting the valve cover off and getting down to the cams. And to make sure that we don't screw anything up, we got the boys from Drag Cartel here to give us a hand. So it should make it pretty easy, All right? Why'd you say right at the end? Cause, <laughs> right? So you might be wondering why we're gonna be changing the camshafts. Well, the cams that we're gonna be going to are gonna allow us to make a little bit more power at higher end. Uh, we're also gonna be doing upgraded valve spring, which is gonna allow us to crank up to about 9,000 RPM. So, I'm pretty happy about that. What, why do we replace springs? Do well, we? so you need more seat pressure at higher RPMs if you have a, you know, the stock springs just oh, start floating. Because the valve itself has inertia mm -hmm. and that can overcome the pressure of the spring itself. Mm -hmm. So if you're at those high revs, it floats, like you said. Exactly. So you need a stronger spring to push it back into place. That's right. And then you can get into those crazy nine, 10,000 RPM numbers. Wow. If you have enough valve spring. So we're gonna have a double spring set up here and uh, that'll keep our valves closing uh, consistently at really high RPMs. I love learning. I love lamp. <laughs> okay, stock cams are out. Making quick progress. got to compress our valve springs. You just put a tool on this bar and use a little bit of leverage, compress your spring, take everything apart, and the new springs can go in nice and easy. Now we just gotta repeat that process 15 more times. You might be wondering, hey, if the springs are taken out, what's keeping the valve from falling into the cylinder? Well, the Drag Cartel guys brought a little fitting that pressurizes the cylinder and keeps the valves in the up position and allows us to change the springs with the head still on the engine. It saves a lot of time. So a good set of camshafts for performance application is gonna have a little bit more lift, which means the lobe is a little bit taller, which means it opens the valve a little bit further, and it'll have more duration, which is the kind of sharpness of the curve there. You can see this is pretty wide, which means it's gonna hold the valve open for a little bit longer before it closes back up. So that lets us suck more air in, push more air out, and ultimately move more air, which is what a performance engine needs to do to make power. I mean, it's an air pump. It's an air pump. Yeah, pump more air. Make more power. Nice. All right, the Drag Cartel boys just finished up putting in the cams. We're gonna fire it up, make sure it still runs, and then get to tackling the ITBs. Who gets to do the honors? Rock, paper, scissors, yeah. Three times. Wow. Have yeah, you ever seen Job defeated at rock, paper, scissors before? Kanan's gotten me a yes. few times. <laughs> no. A time or two. Let's just do key on. Make sure to check no leaks, you know? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Fill her up. Okay. Give her a crankola. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, yeah. Okay, the job is halfway done. <laughs> well, it sounds great. Solid work. Now we get to replace this. Basketball fans, your time is finally here. And for those of you looking to win big this season, today's sponsor, DraftKings, has a special offer just for you. All new customers who bet $5 will get $200 in bonus bets instantly. Download the DraftKings app now, okay? You can even use that $200 in bonus bets on DraftKings Same Game Parlay. It lets you combine multiple bets from the same game, including player points, rebounds, assists, and more. If you're already signed up for DraftKings, no sweat, buddy. All customers can get Same Game Parlay or SGPX if your bet doesn't hit. Max reward limits apply. So download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. New customers use promo code DONUT 
Bet just $5 on any wager and you'll get $200 in bonus bets instantly. That's promo code DONUT only at DraftKings Sportsbook. All right, so this is our stock intake manifold and throttle body. There you go. Oh. We've got one throttle body here, which opens when you hit the throttle. And then that one hole is responsible for sucking all the air that your engine needs to use in, and then it gets distributed to each cylinder by way of this manifold. This one is 65 millimeters across, and these are each 60 millimeters across. So we've gone from a 65 millimeter hole to basically 240 millimeters of hole. So we're gonna get a lot more air into the engine, and it's also gonna sound a lot cooler because we've got four of these things just letting us listen to each cylinder. All right. I just want to see how far we have to go to get to that. It looks like about a half inch. I mean, it's like that's that's not happening. Yeah, it appears we have come to an impasse here, Why? gentlemen. Well, our power steering pump is making contact with the stack right here. We can't get it to come over far. Well, we're definitely doing ITVs, so. I guess we're gonna delete the power steering that we just installed. Maybe this is a good time to explore electric power steering. We might have to. I mean, is this bracket tree gonna be in the way too? No, so no. once this is off, uh -huh. you could just literally stop that. Should make it pretty easy, right? Why'd you say right at the end? Why'd you say right at the end? Okay, so we are gonna do something about our power steering. We're not exactly sure what, but one thing that needs to happen is the bracket needs to be cut uh, in half. So, me and Nolan together are gonna cut it. Four hands, one angle grinder. We left these two threaded holes in hopes that we'll be able to reuse them for our serpentine belt tensioner. Without those, we're gonna have to go to a whole different setup for a serpentine belt. So, fingers crossed on that. We're gonna do a little test fit, see how it looks, and hope that we've got all the room in the world. Oh man, something feels like it's making contact. Like, I'm not tripping, right, Job? Take that. Oh, yeah, it's just sitting right on there. Yeah, looks like you're gonna have to lock it completely flat. Looks like, unfortunately, we're gonna have to lose this threaded hole, which means we lose the ability to use the tensioner that we had. Oh. So, back to the sawzall. Definitely resting on that thing still. Cut more again. All right, so after a bunch of cutting and grinding, we got the ITBs to fit with just enough clearance over here. Oh yeah, baby. Oh boy. Wow, that looks pretty cool. I am pretty bummed we're gonna have to chop the hood up. We'll, we'll think of something. This is all gonna require a retune, obviously, between the cams, the ITBs themselves, and the bigger fuel injectors. This thing should fire up, hopefully, but it's not gonna run great. Whoa. You all right? Yes. We need to hook up the throttles too. Yeah, we need to hook up the throttles. That should be pretty easy. All right, so we're replacing our throttle cable with one from a 96 to a 2000 Civic DX. I think it's just a little bit longer and we'll work with our setup. Oh, there it goes. Wow, look at that. Here, you can pull the stock one out. Now feed the, uh, the other one in. Oh, baby. There you go. Yeah, this is gonna be tight. There you go. And then I'll stand by to test the throttle. Okay, all the connectors are connected. The battery is also connected. There's a few odds and ends that still need to be dealt with. What really matters is finding out if this thing runs. Hit it. Yeah, I mean, that's uh, close to what I expected. You can tell it can run, but it really doesn't want to right now. I'm gonna crack the throttle just a little bit. Go. See what happens. Whoa. Oh. All right. 
That was sick. Did you see that fire? Yes. All right, it runs, dude. Sort of. Yes. Yes. We got to get it tuned, but we knew that. There's a lot of things we got to do on this thing. Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be able to take it to the track in this episode. So next time, make sure you hit that subscribe button because we're going to get all the parts we need for this thing. We're going to get it tuned and take it to that dyno. Then finally take it to the track and see if we can beat that freaking 2023 Type R. Dude, I know we got it. I know we got it. So thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.